Today I'm going to talk about the Gravely Pro Stance 52. I'm going to tell you why I bought it, uh, give some details about the machine, what I think about it. I uh, bought the machine in 2018. I wanted to get a machine that was fast and maneuverable. I have about 25 acres of field to mow. This is woodland, so there are a lot of trees and I have to get around the trees, which a lot of times is not practical with a bush hawk. Uh, so I knew I wanted a mower, a zero turn mower uh, that could uh, get around the trees, could mow fast and had lots of power uh, to, to mow woodland, uh, tall grass, uh, saplings, that sort of thing. So I went to a local dealer and the brand that they, that they specialized in was Gravely. I looked at it, it looked heavy duty. I mean, it looked like it was a serious machine. It was expensive. It looked like it had the power and durability I needed. So I went ahead and bought the machine. I did not buy this machine to cut finely manicured lawns. So I've had the machine long enough and used it enough, I think, to give you my thoughts on it, uh, the pros, the cons, what I like and, and what I don't like so much. It comes with the Kawasaki engine. It's approximately 20 horsepower, but it has 40 uh, foot-pounds of torque, which is, is fairly torquey. It weighs a little bit over 900 pounds. So it's a beefy machine. Uh, the deck is extremely thick. Uh, it has taken a beating. I bought the Pro Stance because I wanted to stand because we have a lot of stumps and they're, uh, some of them are the fat with lighter stumps. And if any of you know about those, those are deaf to machinery. Uh, they're extremely hard. When you hit them, uh, it's gonna damage something. I wanted to have visibility when I'm mowing so I don't hit stumps and rocks and things like that. It would be nice to sit, but you know, it being, you know, being what I'm mowing here, I thought it was best to stand. Based on my experience with the machine, that was certainly the right call. I bought the Pro Stance because it's fast. It will mow, according to Gravely, approximately five acres per hour. Uh, it, it will move forward at about nine miles per hour and about four miles per hour in reverse. Uh, the thing is built like a tank. It has been put to the test. Uh, I'll roll some footage here. I'm not mowing uh, grass with this thing. I'm mowing tall fields. I've literally mowed grass as tall as I am and I'm over six feet tall. And the machine did fine. Uh, of course, it, you know, when it gets clogged up underneath that will bog down a little bit but once you get to a place it'll blow all the clippings out and it'll uh, resume to full power again it is just um, I can't say enough about it as far as the power uh, the speed and the maneuverability goes it is it is absolutely fantastic this machine is made to be worked on it's a machine I think that you could keep for a very very long time as long as you don't mind turning wrenches which uh, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but it's, you know, when you have a situation like I have, it's a necessary part of it. So I anticipate keeping this machine 10, 15, 20 more years. I, I don't know. I, I doubt if I'll have to buy another one. I've considered getting the 32 inch just because it's more maneuverable and I can get be between trees that I can't get with the 52. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's in the cards. I may do that. That's how much I like the machine. I may, I may get that machine at some point. The pros of this machine are it's fast, it's maneuverable, it's built like a tank, and it's meant to be worked on. Through my experience, I've learned that this machine can take a beating. I have run over some things that I probably shouldn't have. I've cut down some material that I probably shouldn't have. Gra Gravely would probably not approve of some of the things that I've done with this machine. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it is a tough mower. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I cannot complain about any of that. Now, there are some cons. It is an expensive machine. When the belt comes off, the dry belt, that thing is a pain in the butt to put back on. Uh, you know, man, if they could do something about that, that would be great because that, I mean, when that belt comes off and you have to put it on and you're, you know, a mile from anywhere, you're out in the middle of a field and you have to do it, it's, it just makes you want to quit um, mowing for a long time. Uh, so I would say that's definitely a con. Also, it doesn't have a ton of storage. 
Um, you know, I take the machine and I'll mow fields and I'll work my way to the back and I'll be two miles from my car or any supplies. And it would be nice to be able to take, you know, a couple of Gatorade bottles or something. And there's really nowhere on the machine to, to do that. I may add something at some point. Um, I'm going to be retiring in another month. Uh, so I'll have some time to work on some of this stuff. So I may add some sort of storage or maybe a, a, a container that can be removed when I, you know, I, I can drive the machine to the back and then when I get ready to start mowing, take the, the container off and, and store it to the side, mow, and then I have something, you know, some snacks and some drinks and things like that. The machine is expensive. When I bought mine, it was about $8,000. Maybe you can get a deal. I think retail is a little bit more now. If I were just mowing grass, I probably would buy one of the cheaper models. Now, I would not consider buying a cheaper model with the uh, abuse that I put this machine through. It need, the deck needs to be this thick. I think it's listed as seven gauge, which is approximately three sixteenths of an inch. And there's some reinforcement around the perimeter. So the deck can take a beating. It, other than the paint being scraped off, it looks pretty new. Another con is the gas gauge does not work. And it intermittently worked from the day I got the thing. It, you know, it's sometimes it'll show that it's full and sometimes it's on empty all the time. Whether it's empty or not, it appears to be no rhyme or reason. I mean, I'm talking about this on level ground. Okay, so I wish they would put a more reliable gas gauge on there. The machine that's $8,000, the gas gauge should work. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that you could buy a car for $8,000 and the gas gauges work. Uh, at the end, the machine is a good machine. It is a beast. It will cut down saplings, uh, small trees, tall grass, short grass. It'll do it in a hurry. It will do it with reliability, uh, maneuverability. I don't really have a whole lot of bad to say about the machine other than some of the cons I listed. I would, if I had to, I would buy it again. If, if, you know, this one blew up, um, I would, I would go buy another one. That's how vital this machine is to, to the land that, that we own. It's, it just, it's a workhorse. It gets used a lot and we would not want to be without it. So, Overall, I give this probably four out of five stars. It's, it's expensive. The gas gauge is a joke. Uh, the belt is way too difficult to put back on. It should be a little bit easier. Some drink holders or something would be great. You know, that's you know, most people buying this, I will say these are land, professional landscapers. They're going and mowing grass. Uh, they're usually near their truck. So I guess I understand it. That we're sort of a one-off uh, use case and so they're probably not going to design the machine around us but you know some sort of storage would be great i mean that's there's a little compartment up top but once you're you know it's hard to keep a drink in there because if the bottle's too big then you can't use the controls so that's no good i think you know certainly if they could put something on the side that you could get to that would be great Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Gravely Pro Stance 52. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time.